Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Snolly. Welcome to a new week in my life. I'm starting the vlog off from somewhere very different. We're actually in a hotel room in downtown Austin because we had a little staycation and that vlog should definitely be up by now. So if you guys want to watch that vlog, I will have it linked down below. We're actually headed out the door because we need to check out in T minus 15 minutes. So we're running a bit late and we're going to have breakfast downstairs too. <laughs> go pick her up right now. We got a lot of pastries, sandwiches, and muffin and stuff. Oh, hi, Sophie. Eee! We missed you so much, Sophie. <laughs> Ryan had to get on a call, so I just came and picked her up, but I'm so happy. It's 5 p.m. and I took a power nap at about like 3.30 and I just needed it so bad because I actually went to a blogger shoot at like 7 a.m. this morning and it was kind of far away so I had to wake up at 6 a.m. So I was definitely feeling like so sleepy midday today and I was just like, you know what? I know I'm not gonna be productive so let's just take a nap. I also did something really nerve wracking. I posted on my Instagram stories that I was hiring a video editor and this could be like super freaking good for me but I just am so nervous cause I have never really like delegated anything like this and like this year I had it on my new year's resolution at the top of my list to delegate more. I want my content to be the best it can be so why not? So I hired Caitlin for my branding and she's currently working on it. I'm so excited to see it. In the past week I approved the fonts and the colors so now it's getting really real. In the past few weeks I've been talking about how editing like especially the week in my life videos they're just so long and I feel like they're just so time consuming and like the other videos too like Editing is time consuming and it's not a bad thing. Like I've been doing it for so long. I've started my YouTube channel in 2013 and yeah, I wasn't posting three times a week, but it was still a lot, especially because I was in college or high school. Like I had other things to do. And especially now, like you would think like, okay, girl, you just quit your job. Like, why do you need a video editor now? You should have more time. But now I feel like I should be creating content for like all these other platforms. And sometimes, editing these videos takes away a lot of that time that I could be creating content. And my mom has been telling me this like for the past couple years. And my dad's always told me like, you should outsource, you should outsource. But I just could not give up creative control. And I'm just like, so scared to like give that responsibility to someone else. I don't know why. And I also didn't want someone else to edit my videos because I took pride in the way I edited my videos. So it's just been like really hard to actually decide like, okay, I need someone to do this because my life is going to be so much better if I get an editor. So I'm really hoping that I find a good one and I find one fast because I wanna start creating more content like ASAP. I will post like the requirements. I didn't really have too many. Um, so if you guys are a video editor yourself or you know someone that is a video editor and wants to make some extra cash every week, let me know or send a screenshot to them. They can email me with their resume and their past work if they have any. I just went down to the mail room. I'm getting a lot of exciting snail mail, guys. It's tax season and I'm getting all of my freaking, what are they called, 1099s? Oh my god, my mom is helping me with my taxes. Last year I had a CPA. What are they even called a CPA? I don't even know. Like taxes are like my new SAT. I don't know why. Like that's all my mom talks to me about and I hate hearing the word taxes even though I have to do them. Like it sucks and it's just like such a long process and... I'm gonna try to be more organized this year for sure because last year I just wasn't with my receipts and everything and like write-offs and all that kind of stuff. But my mom has been helping me ever since, you know, I got a job or even like started doing YouTube. And I wanna get my taxes done like ASAP, but I just feel like I don't have time. Again, it's just all about not having time. There's not enough hours in the day, so video editor. Please help me out so I can do my taxes. Um, but this first package is from Liquid IV. They reached out and wanted to send me over a package and I was so happy because my first time trying Liquid IV was during my uh, breast reduction recovery. My sister sent some with my mom and I was like actually obsessed with it. I like looked forward to it every single day because it's like this salty drink and you guys know I love salt. I'm like obsessed with salt and obviously it's like an electrolyte drink so I think they're 
all like salty, if that makes sense. Um, but they also make you feel really, really good. And I actually want to take one right now because I feel like that will just get me going. Um, I have like one hour left of sunset and I need to create some TikToks because I've been slacking on that platform. I feel like every week it's like, okay, I'm doing really good on Instagram with Instagram reels, but I'm slacking on TikTok or I'm doing really good with feed, but I'm slacking on stories. It's just like too much. It's way too many platforms you even keep track of. I don't know. I think I need to like meditate right now because I'm getting a little overwhelmed. The flavors they sent me are lemon, lime, passion fruit, passion fruit, acai berry, and then they also sent over the lemon ginger one. And my favorites, the only two I've ever tried are the tangerine and the matcha one. So I'm very excited to try all these flavors and I'll report back on like what my favorite flavor is. If you guys are avid liquid IV people, I do have a code, so it's gonna be right here. You can use it on your next purchase to save some money. This next package, I have no idea what it is which is always kind of fun. Oh, yay. Okay, I feel like this was like a couple of weeks ago, but I um, was on a webinar with DP Hugh and Justin Anderson and they sent over their hair products. So he made these because apparently, which I did not know this until I joined the webinar, which was really actually interesting. If you have a colored hair product or oil or like even dry shampoo, some of them like dull the color of your hair. So if you get it dyed or bleached or anything like me, I didn't know that it actually dulls your hair. It sounded like he was noticing it a lot more in like blonde celebrities like that he's done their hair on and he was like, why is your blonde just like so dull? And he realized it was like the products because the products contain a little bit of color in it. So basically there is some blow dry cream, touchable hairspray, um, texturizing powder. I love like a good powder. Um, thermal protection spray and then some dry texture spray. I love like a texture spray too. I'm excited to try all these products out. I feel like my hair could definitely use like a toner or a gloss, but my friend that does my hair, Mariana, she just switched locations. So now I have to like figure out where she works now. I get a lot of DMs about my hair and like what I ask for. And I have a whole TikTok like hair playlist that I actually run through like everything I ask for during that session because they're all kind of different. Like one time I asked for like caramel balayage and then the other time I would ask for more of like an ashy tone. But the past two times I went in, I just got a toner and I was just like an ashy toner. And basically it's just like a glaze that goes on your hair and darkens it or like gets the brassiness out. So it's not even bleaching my hair. I think the last time I bleached it was like so long ago and I'm not really trying to bleach it cause I'm really, really wanting my hair to grow out like this long. Like I want it here for summertime and we're gonna make it happen. Okay, <laughs> got another package and I'm so excited to open this because it's an air fryer I bought on Amazon last week and it's finally here. So we're gonna use it today. Playing a little game with myself, trying to make dinner out of what we have at home because we haven't been grocery shopping in a while. But we still have a little bit of chicken, so I'm gonna do some chicken tenders in the air fryer and see how they turn out. And we're also watching Bachelor while I cook. how they turned out. Oh, a little burnt, but not bad. <laughs> I just took a bite and they're actually so good. It's Tuesday and it is currently noon and I feel like this day has gone by so slow, which is good and bad because like I always say, there's not enough hours in the day. So good that I can get a lot of work done, but bad because I'm just like, 
I just want the day to end. Today has a weird feeling to it. I don't know why. This morning I got a lot of work done. I edited two photo galleries and so I'm now all caught up, which is good because now I have two more shoots tomorrow. So when it comes to editing photos, like I really never like to be super overwhelmed and try to like make sure that I'm editing the photos as fast as I can for my sake, just so they don't pile up. I also finally uploaded photos of my big iMac to Facebook Marketplace. I'm selling it for like $100 or something because I don't even know what it's worth. It's so freaking slow. It was actually my family's computer in like middle school. I think we got it in 2009. So it is like a dinosaur now and I just like never use it and I feel like it's just taking up a lot of desk space and just making it look all cluttered. So I'm trying to get rid of it. Ryan's been saying that he wants it and that I should keep it, but like he never uses it. And he always says that. Last week I was trying to drop off some pillows to Goodwill and he was like, no, let me sell it on Facebook Marketplace so I can like make some money. And I was like, okay, fine. The pillow sat in our house for an extra like two weeks and he never sold it on Facebook Marketplace. So yesterday I finally took him to Goodwill and I was like, Ryan, I took the pillows. And he was like, no, I was gonna sell them. I was like, it's been two weeks. Like what? <laughs> like, I am not going to wait for you. I feel like that's another thing about like Poshmark or Depop or anything like that. Like I always want to sell my clothes, but I just don't want to wait to get rid of them because it takes so much time if they don't sell right away, obviously. And when I want to declutter, like I want to declutter now and I want to get it out of my house like that moment. Obviously, as you can see, I have some impulsive issues, but this computer just needed to go. I have gotten a lot of messages, but there are just so many people saying, is this still available? You know, like the automated messages. And then I say, yes, it's still available. And then only a couple people reply back. I had one guy that was gonna come at 5 p.m., but then he decided not to, so. Today's been such a lazy day, even though I got a lot done in the morning and I'm still getting some stuff done later tonight. I just feel like, I don't know, today was like a weird, weird day. We decided to make the day better and go to South Congress and just walk Sophie and I really wanted to go into parachute and possibly get some new king pillows because we always fight over this one firm pillow. I don't know why there's like two king pillows, but they're not the same. So I wanted to just like check it out and see. And also I really need throw pillows and I want to just like get it done so I can film my damn apartment tour. Like that is a priority that needs to happen ASAP. Um, so I thought we could just like check out Parachute and then maybe stop by Aloe. <laughs> we'll see. from Pepe's Tacos and I'm really excited because the last time we had them they came to like our apartment complex and they were so delicious so pumped for that. We just got done at South Congress and I splurged on some pillows. They were definitely expensive but I wanted to get like really nice pillows just because I feel like that's an investment. You're gonna like use these pillows for life pretty much hopefully and then I also was able to return the aloe stuff. Not return but I got a gift card for it which I don't even mind because I wanted a new sweatset anyways. We also sold that Mac when we were at South Congress. For way less than it was worth. I didn't even know how much it was worth, so. You got 200 easy bucks. We're home and I'm so ready to eat. This is what they look like. And then you dip them in here and it's all cheesy and so freaking good. First lime. A sponsored TikTok is due tomorrow. Actually, two of them are. I did one last night, but I wanted to do the second one tonight because I wanted to take a bubble bath and I don't think I've ever gotten in this bathtub before. I'm not like usually a bath girl, but the sponsored TikTok is for like this projector, the Samsung projector. It's actually so cool. We were playing around with it last night. You can watch YouTube, you can watch Netflix. I'm pretty sure you can like mirror your own TV too. So you can watch like, normal TV. So my plan for this TikTok is to project it like right above the toilet, which isn't gonna be the most cute 
thing to see. I wanted to project it right here, but like all the tile I feel like it's just gonna be really distracting. It was really cold outside when we were getting the tacos, so I was just like dreaming about just being in warm water. Morning. It's Wednesday. I worked out this morning and I'm about to pack up my camera bag because I'm going to see home for a 15 minute professional headshot shoot. Um, so it's going to be a quick one and then I'm going to come back home. Usually Wednesdays are not my content days, like it's more of an admin day, but I do need to create some content and I haven't edited the vlog that's supposed to go up today. So yesterday I was slacking a little bit with YouTube. back home I just made some breakfast eggs spinach cherry tomatoes because the tomatoes were going bad and now I'm gonna make a smoothie because last night the bananas were so ripe and I picked it up by the stem and they all like kind of like peeled open so now I'm worried and I just need to use them <laughs> before they go bad um, and I don't really want to freeze them because I feel like I do that very often but I never use it so I'm gonna make us a banana smoothie um, but the shoot went really well it was literally just like a 15 minute headshot shoot I always like to ask new clients how they found me it if it's like through hashtags or just like my photo account, but she actually said she watches my YouTube videos. So shout out to you, Emily. And I can't wait to get the pictures back to her. I'll probably upload them right after I eat. Um, but yeah, let's make this smoothie. I'll probably just do some berries. I have like some frozen berries and then bananas and oat milk, of course. Always gotta have the oat milk. My friend Sam just called me because she was watching one of my YouTube videos and I've been trying to FaceTime her for a while. It's just so hard to FaceTime friends nowadays because I feel like everyone's always so busy or like when I'm busy, she's not. When she's busy, I'm not. So she FaceTimed me and we talked for a little bit and it was just nice to catch up. Now I'm going to film an Amazon favorites video. That's why I'm filming on my phone right now because I got my big camera lens on. So yes, the room is a mess. The filming room is always a mess, but not anymore, okay guys? I'm gonna vow to myself to clean up by end of week. Let's not say today, let's not get too crazy, but by end of the week, those clothes are going to be in my closet and <laughs> not on the floor. And also we sold the Mac, so there's like a lot of space on my desk now and it just looks a lot less cluttered, which is amazing. I just chugged this like energy drink. I just found it in our fridge. I don't even know, like I've never heard of this brand before, but it says no calories, no sugars, no carbs, healthy energy, which is what I like to see because I don't really like to be super dependent on caffeine, but sometimes you need it <laughs> to film and just do stuff. Got my Amazon video filmed and the sun started coming in so bright while I was filming it, which I definitely should have filmed it a little bit earlier. I just like didn't have the energy to, so I had to wait till that energy drink kicked in, but I did buy curtains finally for this freaking window and the curtain rod is the one that's like being delayed. Like it was supposed to come, I think, what is today? Wednesday? It was supposed to come last night. Like it was out for delivery, but it never delivered. So I think it's supposed to come today. So hopefully it actually comes today so that I can get this fixed before the next content day. It's currently 3.20. I'm airdropping some iPhone videos to plug into my staycation vlog. I need to color grade this video, put music on it, and it should be good to go and upload for today's posting day. Um, but I have a shoot at 4.45. I kind of want to leave at 4 because getting parking at the place we're shooting at tonight, which is the Long Center, is so annoying. I always have to manifest a spot and it takes forever and I don't wanna be late to a shoot. So I'm definitely going to try to be there early, but I have not eaten like lunch. I think breakfast, I ate it like kind of late, but 
I feel like I need some substance in my body before I head out the door for that shoot. So while this is airdropping, I think I'm gonna go grab a snack. It's 6.05, I just got done with my shoot and it's so fun cause she just moved to Austin and she just like wanted a photo shoot for Instagram to like announce she moved to Austin, which is so cute. I love that. So we did it at the Long Center with the city background, got some nature. And when we were up at the Long Center, like there's like a podium. There's usually some type of like event going on in the Long Center like atrium, but it's like an outside atrium. I don't even know if that makes sense, but basically there was a workout class. So we definitely had an audience today, which was fun. <laughs> the sunset was so gorgeous tonight. A grande decaf iced white mocha with oat milk. A grande decaf iced mocha with what? With oat milk, if you have that. You still want the whipped cream? Uh, can I sub the whipped cream for salted cold foam? Uh, regular cold foam or the vanilla stick cream foam? Salted caramel. Uh, can I get the salted caramel cold yeah, foam on, on that? that? Mocha? Yes. Okay, perfect. Anything else? Uh, that's all. Does that look right on the screen for you? Yeah, it looks good. Sounds good. 2501, thank you. Thank you. Why are you laughing? Is this chocolate milk? <laughs> You got decaf, I start milk. You got decaf milk. Ma'am, we got a complicated order. You remember so that? He said, you remember that skit? What's that from? Back your way, you do this. Yeah, maybe. Something like that, like that era, era of our life. Mad TV. <laughs> oh yeah, Mad TV. I was gonna say SNL, but it was definitely not SNL. Sophie said you forgot her order. <laughs> She's about to love now. Um, Sophie? <laughs> That's for the manager, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie. Are you getting a pappuccino? Is it bath day? Should we give her one? Are you gonna bathe her tonight? Uh, well, not before lunch. That's fine, just give her one. The water boil has been lifted and we called Starbucks this morning and we were like, hey, just to make sure, like, are you guys serving drinks and heating up food? Cause the, the first day we came, we like forgot about the water boil notice and apparently they couldn't even like heat up food. She doesn't even know that I have it. <laughs> she has an idea now. She's trying to ask for the manager. Which one more. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get some extras. Right. <laughs> Just another version of Ovaltine in the morning. Today is the day where we're hanging up the curtains. Bob the Builder, can he fix it? I have a very important job holding the nails. Yay! Oh, uh oh. They're kind of short now. They're all not very strong either. Yeah, it doesn't look it. Thoughts? Ooh, look at this diffuse light though. My cactus is dying and I looked it up and it's basically just like lack of sunlight, but this room is pretty sunny. I think it's just made to be outdoors, I think. Should you put it outside too? I don't think one day is gonna do like Go that on. much for it, you know? You and it's so heavy. I can move that. But Should we do I'm it and save be, the cactus? Then I'm gonna say bye to it. Mm -hmm. It's my filming room cactus. But they also said you could possibly like cut, up, cut off the top and like let it regrow. Okay. I genuinely have not seen this room so clean since like months ago. It looks beautiful. The curtains, I'm obsessed with this room. Like I have already been obsessed with this room, but the curtains just make it so dreamy. But I don't know if they're too short. And this kind of makes me upset because if they were too short, then I'm gonna have to return them and get new ones. I don't know, what do we think? I think I'm gonna ask you guys on my Instagram stories because you'd see them kind of in my like mirror photos. Also, yes, I'm still in my PJs and it's a little past noon. <laughs> gonna change in a bit, but I don't know. I think they're so pretty though. I'm so freaking happy I got these. And why was I waiting all this time? Should have gotten them way before, but also have my vacuum going since everything's finally off the floor. I can actually get a good vacuum in. We don't have any groceries, so you know what that means. It's a week of just Taco eating out. Thursday. Yeah. Taco Thursday. We're getting some tacos. Ryan tried a new place this past week, right? It was actually really good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yesterday. We're going back.
tacos were so good. These past door tacos had pineapple in it and the one place we usually go to, which is Las Trancas, does not have pineapple in it, but the place that we went to today is not too far from us. Even though Las Trancas is on the east side, so it's still not that far from us. Also, we did take the cactus outside on our patio. I think I'm gonna cut off the top because it just got like really, really skinny and it's just like not the vibe. Um, so I'm gonna cut it off and hopefully it grows back. So for now, we're gonna have to deal with the pompous. I don't even know if I hate it or like it or what. Like, are we over it? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, this is like tilting pretty bad because this is like ruined from that big ass planter sitting on it this whole time. But I do have a package that I wanted to open. It's from Gigi Pip. And if you guys don't know, it is a hat brand, like really well-known hat brand. And they sent over two hats and I wanted to style them for you guys. I thought that would be like a fun little segment of this vlog because I feel like I don't like talk too much about fashion on the vlog and I definitely want to start doing like OOTDs and just more like fashion stuff so I thought this would be a perfect way to get started on that I got two hats and two different colors so this is the first hat I got it's the Miller fedora my first impression is that it's really just good quality like it's very sturdy I purchased cheap hats in the past and they always come like ruined, so it's kind of nice that this didn't come ruined. I feel like I'm just so used to that, which I shouldn't be. Um, but on the inside, it says, here's to a woman who wears many hats. And I love that because that is just so me. But let's try it on and see if it fits. It is so cute. It fits perfectly. I got a size 57. I was going to go for the smaller version, but literally this is like a perfect fit. The next hat I got is the Zephyr... Zephyr? I think that's how you say it. Zephyr Rancher. And this is the cream color and I also got it in a size 57. This one doesn't have a band on it and I was thinking that I could go to like a hat shop here in Austin and just get like a really cute band or just maybe like a couple or maybe like just two. I don't even know. Um, so I could like change them out and give it a little bit more personality. I usually like a plain hat but I feel like I'm gonna want a little bit of, you know, um to the hat i don't know but i think it's really cute i've literally never seen yellowstone but i just keep hearing about it and seeing pictures that are like relating to this vibe so i'm gonna call this my yellowstone vibe because i just feel like it's very like midwest <laughs> i don't even know if that makes sense next i was thinking a denim on denim moment and honestly these two blues like definitely looked very similar in my closet where it was a bit darker but now not so much. You still get the vibe, you still get the gist. And if you're posing for a photo, I love when people like have the jacket off their shoulders just a bit. I think it's just a cool girl pose. I also feel like this is a Yellowstone vibe, but again, I've never seen the dang TV show, so I could be totally wrong. But I love this Teddy Sherpa jacket kind of thing. I'm obsessing over chunky knits at the moment, and I thought this would pair well with a cream hat. A summer going into fall, I loved these kind of like button up shirts that were super flowy. I feel like, again, it gives you like that cool girl vibe, and it's just so effortless. And add an accessory, and you look so put together. I also forgot to mention that I do have a discount code for you guys. Guys, it's Sonali15 for 15% off at Gigi Pip. It's 642 and I totally forgot to bring my vlog camera like we were running out the door and I just like totally forgot that I was vlogging today which I don't know why because I vlog pretty much every single day. Right now we're actually headed to like a launch party for the skincare um what's it called I'm, I'm like blanking but it's basically a Sephora but for like clean beauty it's called fine line and it's actually in East Austin I'm gonna be interested to see if there's like any of the skincare that I already use there um so I'm gonna take you guys along with me so sorry about this quality I am just so mad at myself for not bringing my vlog camera but hope you guys can forgive me Marie Antoinette curlers in it's kind of like this heatless 
um, ribbon curl. I think that's what they call it. Um, and basically you just like wrap your hair around it, almost like a French braid, but a French curl. I personally like to put it in my hair when it's damp or I'll just like run a blow dryer through it, especially like today. I don't really have that much time for it to dry in these. I actually sleep with them most of the time, but today I was just not feeling like curling my hair, but I wanted it to look good because we have Galentine's plans in the evening. I am also going to pamper myself and try out this new tool that I got on Amazon recently. It is the Sonic Facial Exfoliation and Hair Removal System. I had those really like cheap razors from Amazon and they worked really well, but I really wanted to to try like fully dermaplaning my face. It says it instantly and painlessly removes unwanted facial hair, instantly removes dead skin cells and buildup, prepares skin for flawless makeup application, and yeah. So I'm really excited to try this out. So let's do a little unboxing. I'm kind of hoping it comes charged because I am realizing now that you might have to charge it. I just charged it for a little bit, so now we can test it out. It has apparently like three speeds, so one, two, three. Like, I wonder if it actually makes that big of a difference, but I guess we'll find out. I didn't charge it for long, so the tool already died on me. My face is looking super smooth. I'm just using it without like the vibrating. Um, and I'm almost done, so I just need to do like a couple more spots and we will be good to put on makeup. Not sure if you can see all the hair, but it's definitely getting all of it off. My face feels so soft, like so soft. I also need to do it under here, but I'm gonna charge it and then maybe like do it tomorrow. Oh my god, I also need to pluck my eyebrows. <laughs> Makeup's all done, and I still have this thing in my hair. I'm trying to keep it in it as long as possible, but I'm gonna take it out soon. But I wanted to show you guys what I just cooked because I'm really excited about it. Just want to say my apologies for not showing you guys the process, but it was a new dish, and I was like really nervous. And I feel like every time I film something, my first time, I always fuck it up and I cannot fuck this up because it's for other people. It's not just for me and Ryan, so I needed to really focus even though it was probably like one of the easiest things I've ever made. So the dish I signed up to make for our Valentine's Day dinner or potluck or whatever is polenta and mushrooms. Polenta is kind of like grits almost, but not. They're so good. I feel like I always see them served at really fancy like do I say steakhouses? I don't know, just like fancy restaurants. And this is what it looks like. This is like pre-made. So basically I just had to cut them up into little discs, put them in the microwave, and then I just transferred them into a pot over there. Put some chicken broth in it, a lot of butter, Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper. And I think I was supposed to have some kind of greens and I'm really, really sad because I wish I remembered to get greens. I think it just makes dishes just look prettier. I was just talking to my mom um, on the phone and I was telling her like it sucks when no one eats your food at a potluck. It's honestly just so heartbreaking and I don't want that to happen to my dish today but you really have to make it look pretty so that people want to eat it and want to try it. So I'm hoping it gets eaten. I'll try to report back. <laughs> But maybe I won't because what if I'm like really just sad about it? I don't want to talk about it if no one eats them. But yeah, I feel like without the greens, like it's just going to look like grits and mushrooms. So it's not going to look too cute. But uh, oh, I did buy like shaved Parmesan. So maybe that will make it look nice. And everyone loves cheese, right? So maybe this will do it. Um, also, yeah, the house is a mess. It's so funny now because like my filming room is now the clean room of the house. Maybe next week, that will be my priority, is just to declutter, like actually clean the house so it stays clean. I realized I didn't even show you guys what it looks like. So yeah, it just looks like grits, very creamy and so delicious. And then just some mushrooms with balsamic vinegar. Oh my gosh, like my hair turned out so freaking good. I am shook. I feel like this is the perfect thing to also like travel with. If you shower at night and then sleep with this in your hair, 
you don't have to do anything the next morning and then hopefully it dries but sometimes you might have to like blow dry it before but like usually hotels have hair dryers so it should be fine but I will link it down below I need to leave in 10 minutes I just packaged up the food that I'm gonna take and I need to bring a bottle of wine so I need to remember that but I wanted to show you guys my PJs that I'm wearing for tonight's celebration I purchased my first order of Eberge pajamas during Black Friday and only some of the colors were on sale and one of the colors was pink so that's why I got it because usually I don't really love pink but I feel like it's perfect for today so everyone's dressing kind of like comfy casual PJs kind of thing um, and I think we're gonna play games and I'm just really excited to just have a girls night Just got home and I feel like my teeth need a brushing so bad because I just ate so much candy and cupcakes and icing and I definitely treated myself tonight but I wanted to end the vlog here I'm so tired I barely even drank anything but I think I had like two small cups and I'm just wanting to like pass out right now and usually i love scrolling on tiktok but i just want to go to bed because i'm so freaking sleepy if you guys enjoyed this vlog definitely hit that subscribe button and go ahead and follow me on instagram at so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in my next video bye